Good morning. Today I want to check what kind of MPG does this new, well not new, it's new to me, but this 2015 Ram 3500 Cummins with the Ison get, what kind of MPG does it actually get? I'm, as you can see, I'm hauling my first load with it right here. It's these turnstiles in the van. I, I mean, if, you're, if you are watched last videos, you know exactly what it pays and where it's going, Texas to California. And right now I'm at the pilot in Weatherford, Texas, and I'm gonna fill up, but I mean, it's super, super busy right here. There's a truck in front of me. How's it going? <laughs> Guys, I've done MPG videos before and you were asking in the comments, Alex, what's this TFL 30 second thing that you're doing? Guys, I wanna try to keep the MPG consistent, like the same, right? Maybe I should, uh, oh, that's better. Look at that. It's crazy how when you, when you know where the sun is, right? So I wanna keep the MPG consistent. Uh, or the way I measure consistent. And the most consistent way is to use somebody else's method or system. And there's a channel, the Fast Lane Truck. They do MPG tests all the time on many, many different trucks. And they have this 30 second method where you put the nozzle in, you wait until it clicks, you wait 30 seconds, and then you top it off one time. And you do that every single time you test it. And that channel has, um, I, like, it has hundreds of thousands of subs on multiple, multiple channels. Um, all those guys do great videos. And so I wanna follow how they're doing it just because then you'll know that, hey, my Ram towing is a similar results to their Ram towing or whatever the case may be. You can like actually know that, hey, at least they're the language is the same between these two YouTube you know, channels. So anyways, that's what it is. It's the fast lane truck, 30 second method that they've been doing and that's what I'm doing, okay? So uh, one truck already pulled forward right there. Let's wait for this other guy and then let's get some fuel. How's it going, dude? How are you doing? Good, man. I was just looking over at your truck. I'm like, dang, dude, that truck looks sick. Oh, Wait, you posted in the group, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the okay, group. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now this one's obviously not the one that's important. I just wanted to do, I want to start it right with the 30 second top off method. And so I'm starting it correctly. So my tank is now full. I, I was full before. I mean, I only fill up for eight gallons. You know what I mean? So really let's pull forward. A semi truck just pulled in behind me. So let's pull forward again. And then we will uh, stop in like, we'll stop at the next pilot and fill up using the 30 second method again and figure out this MPG. Now I want to do it twice though, because I want to do one time running at 70 miles an hour. I remember you guys did a video before and you guys said, Oh, you're pulling a container. 70 is way too fast. You can get way better MPG. So I'm going to do this two times in this video, one time at 70, one time at 65, like you guys suggested. So then we're really going to find out what kind of MPG I'm getting. So, um, but anyways, all right, I'm, I just pulled forward. I'm going to go inside and grab some snacks and we're going to hit the road. Okay. So we stopped and we actually, already pumped the diesel and you can see right here 11 gallons 0.387 25 dollars and four cents i'm gonna pump some def right now too okay so here's the verdict uh we did based on google maps it's 76 miles and a, i took a picture of it so it's 11.387 gallons oh my goodness so 76 miles divided by the 11 point 387 gallons gives us 6.67 miles to the gallon. That is really bad. <laughs> what? I, I don't understand. I mean, okay, so there was one slowdown for construction. It is pretty windy and there was a lot of hills. So it's gonna be really interesting. Aren't you glad I'm doing all this in one video? So now that we topped off, we did the 30 second method again here, let's just drive at 65 miles an hour and see how good we do when we fill up at the next pilot, okay? So let's get back out on the road because I don't wanna to idle too much and skew the results by a little bit, but let's get out on the road and uh, get it done, uh, do some more miles. Cause that's 6.67 is ridiculous. That's terrible. That is just terrible. I got so used to on the Ford doing like over 11 when you're doing 70 miles an hour. So um, yeah, yeah, let's try it again. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we are at the pilot in Thai, Texas. It's just outside of Abilene. And looks like from our previous stop, it's 53 miles. And right here, we filled up on 7.231 gallon. Okay, so that time we got 7.32 miles to the gallon. <laughs> uh, which is, which doesn't make any sense at all. Because honestly, driving at 65 
is super, super annoying, okay? And let me tell you why. This truck, oh God, it just, it reminds me of how bad a Ram needs an eight speed or a 10 speed. This is absolutely frustrating. Driving this truck again just instantly reminds me why I hate everything about this truck. Or, or maybe I should rephrase that. Everything I hate about this truck starts with the transmission. There you go. It's like, honestly, at 65 miles an hour towing, this thing is just plain stupid. And let me explain. Sixth, fifth, 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 sixth, fifth on and on and on and on and it just never ends the whole like out almost an hour of driving right 53 miles whatever hour of driving about the whole time probably did 30 shifts for no reason every 30 seconds six fifth six fifth six fifth six fifth six fifth ah <laughs> like it's so aggravating gosh oh man Honestly, if this truck needs an 8-speed or a 10-speed, I hope Ram really does not mess it up and puts a decent transmission in there because this 6-speed garbage is absolutely frustrating. All right, so those are the numbers, 7 some miles the gallon and 6 and some change for this 2015 Ram with the Cummins, with the Ison. And I'm just blown away that the second time we got better MPG than the first time. That doesn't make any sense to me because when you're going 70, it does stay in 6 the whole time. Unless you get a hit, hit a big hill, then it drops to 50. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? What do you want to see next about this? Keep in mind, I did just get this truck and I haven't serviced it at all. Not even one bit. Uh, and so I'm fairly certain, fairly, fairly certain, at least an air filter is needed, at least fuel filters are needed, and probably at least an oil change is needed. So I'll see you in the next one, all right? Bye.